All right. Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Dan Wiesman from the Belvedere School District in Belvedere, Illinois. It's the week of December 17th, and I'm excited to give you an update on our school year and the progress we're making right now as we work on our mission to empower all learners to achieve personal excellence here in District 100. Um, let's see. If you, if you have any questions or comments throughout the Facebook Live, please put them below. I'll try to address them at the end of my prepared remarks. Also, if you have a great experience you want to celebrate, or just want to share how much you love your school, please leave a comment in the review section on Facebook by clicking on the link that I just put in the comment box. Now, I appreciate you joining us here today, either live, if you're with us live, or after the fact, if you're watching a recording. A few areas of celebration before we get into our board meeting agenda for tonight. We have four Golden Apple finalists this year from our secondary schools, Jeremy Edwards and Dan Foster from Belvedere High School, Sheila Morrell from South Middle School, and Amanda Numis from North. We're really excited for them and proud of them, and I can't wait to see how the next steps in the process work out. These are some great teachers. Our Belvedere North Agriculture class was highlighted recently in the news. You can see that clip by clicking in the link. I'm going to put a link in the comment section below. Let me copy this. It's kind of neat to see some of the great things those students are doing in that ag class. Uh, we got a few important topics for the board agenda tonight. I'm going to go through some of those and then answer any questions or comments that come up. Today at our board meeting, we have our annual tax abatement. We do this on an annual basis now. I've been doing it for multiple years. With a proposed abatement of uh, over $2.5 million, we will have abated just shy of $11 million over the last five years from sales tax receipts. So it's $10,975,000 over the last five years. Uh, for the res residents here in Belvedere. That's great news, I think, and shows our board's commitment to our taxpayers. We have six new courses for our high school catalog this year. Heritage Spanish II, Introduction to Health Occupations, which is part of the new health science endorsement I'll be explaining later. Computer Network and Troubleshooting, which is part of the new information technology endorsement I'll explain later. Transition Math, this is a state course from the Illinois State Board of Education and helps keeps our kids out of remedial math courses in the community college. AP English Language, which adds a strength to our AP program, which is something that our community has been requesting for the last couple years. This is an 11th grade class. And AP Seminar, which is the first class in the AP Capstone Diploma Program. This allows students to receive additional recognition for taking early college courses in high school. AP Seminar is a project-based learning course um, and uh, AP seminar assessments include research reports, written arguments, and presentations completed during the academic year. After students take AP seminar, they can then take AP research where they design, execute, present, and defend a year-long research-based investigation on a topic of uh, their individual interest. We're really excited about these new high school course offerings and hope they'll be among some of the first choices for students uh, for next year. We're also expanding our high school blended courses. We currently have two of those at each of our high schools and they combine traditional instruction with online materials. This gives students more flexibility to learn outside of class when they're meeting their goals. You can learn more about our blended philosophy by watching a short video about blended classes. I'm going to put a link to that in the comment section so you can see that. We're also going to be presenting tonight our high school endorsement pathways. We first introduced this concept a little over a year ago and we've been working really hard for the last year to get to this point. I am, let's see, I'm gonna switch over to some slides here as I walk through that. Let's see if this works. Okay. So there are seven endorsements in our endorsement framework. They align to the state endorsement framework. There's an Ag, Food and Natural Resources endorsement, Arts and Communication endorsement, Finance and Business Services endorsement, Human Public Services endorsement, Health Sciences and Technology Endorsement, Information Technology Endorsement, and Manufacturing, Engineering, Technology, and Trades Endorsement. You can see an explainer video of what college and career or endorsements are by clicking, and I'm going to put a link to another video in the comment section. Freshmen who choose an endorsement are able to take a sequence of electives in that endorsement that help prepare them for a possible future career in that area. This sequence of electives is called a pathway. So there could be multiple pathways within one of the given seven endorsements. If students don't end up in a career later on in life in that area, it's still a great experience. It gives them experiences and helps develop their skills for an occupation they do choose later in life by helping them develop some cross-cutting skills. I'm going to go through some of the slides here. 
um, to talk about the benefits and what our pathways look like. So pathway endorsement benefits include, like I mentioned, giving kids early career experiences, connecting the work that they do in high school to their career in the future, and making sure that we give all of our kids a unique advantage. We feel like the endorsement and pathway work we've been doing makes sure to benefit all students, the students that want to enter a career right after high school, as well as those that want to enter post-secondary education. So I'm going to walk through each of our endorsements and the different pathways that are available to our students starting next year. The first endorsement is Ag, Food, and Natural Resources, and uh, the first pathway in that endorsement is Crop Management. Sophomores in this endorsement, uh, sorry, in this pathway take an Ag Science class, and then as 11th graders they take Botany. Then as seniors they'll take a Horticulture Production and Management course, as well as an Introduction to Agribusiness course. Or uh, students in the Ag, Food, and Natural Resource endorsement can choose the Livestock Production pathway. As sophomores, they still take the Ag Science class. In 11th grade, they take an Animal Science class. In 12th grade, a Livestock Production class and an Introduction to Agribusiness class. Then we move on to the Arts and Communication endorsement, which starts with a Mass Communications pathway. As sophomores, these students take an Introduction to Journalism class and then as juniors, a Broadcast Media class. And we're still working on a senior class for those students in a couple years. The Performing Arts pathway is the second pathway in the Arts and Communication endorsement. As sophomores, students can take either an introduction to theater, art, or an appropriate level, uh, appropriate music level class. As juniors, they take an acting and directing or another appropriate level music class. And as seniors, they take an advanced acting and directing or uh, a third appropriate uh, level music class. Then we have a theater technician pathway within the arts and communications endorsement. This includes a uh, sophomore option for introduction to theater arts. 11th grade options are Theater Technology 1 or Theater Production 1, and then as seniors they take the second level course for either Theater Technology or Theater Production. Uh, a fourth pathway within the Arts and Communication endorsement is the Studio Arts pathway, and this is just an acknowledgement that when students get into art, they take a, a series of art courses that build on each other. So 10th grade they take Art 1, 11th grade they're going to take another art class, and 12th grade they're going to take another art class. Then we move on to our finance and business services endorsement. Uh, the pathway here is business management. As sophomores, students take an introduction to business class. In 11th grade, they take a beginning accounting class. And in the 12th grade, they take a principles of management and a principles of finance class. Our health science endorsement has a similar pathway name, just health sciences. Uh, sophomores in this endorsement pathway take an introduction to healthcare occupations. That's one of the new courses being proposed. And as 11th graders, they take an introductory life science class. And then as seniors, they take medical terminology and nutrition for optimum living. Our health public services endorsement includes an education pathway right now. Uh, 10th graders take an introduction to child care. 11th graders take a child growth and development class. And 12th graders, uh, the seniors, are enrolled in a primary teaching internship where they work here in one of our schools, actually. The information technology endorsement uh, includes a coding and mobile app development pathway where students as sophomores take a computer applications class. As 11th graders, they take an introduction to network and coding. This is a new course this year that was approved last year. And as 12th graders, as seniors, they'll take a mobile app development class. Another pathway in the information technology endorsement is network design and troubleshooting, whereas 10th graders will take a computer applications class. 11th graders will take an introduction to network and coding. In 12th grade, uh, those seniors will take a network design and troubleshooting, which is one of the new courses up uh, in front of the board tonight. Our last endorsement, I believe, is Manufacturing, Engineering, Technology, and Trades. Uh, and we have a couple pathways here. We have an Automotive Technician pathway. It includes a sophomore level class for Automotive Technology, a junior class for Advanced Automotive Technology, and a senior class, which is, again, an Advanced Automotive Technology class. An engineering pathway is the second option under Manufacturing, Engineering, Technology, and Trades endorsement. Uh, sophomores here take an introduction to drafting class. Then as juniors, they take an introduction to engineering and careers. And as 12th grades, they take an engineering graphics class. Then there's a the manufacturing pathway, whereas sophomores, they take an activities and technology class. As juniors, they take introduction to drafting. And as seniors, they take a metrology class and a manufacturing processes class. Let's see. So freshmen receive a career guide in the coming months as part of their course selection process. This is a really cool resource and something that's new this year. I'm going to put a link to that in the comment section so you can see that. 
the resource, this resource, the career guide should help them uh, better understand what types of things interest them now so they can make a good choice around their endorsement and possible pathway courses. Uh, just a reminder, I know we've got a couple uh, questions or comments here. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section and I will address them here in a, a few minutes. Uh, one final update for the board tonight will be our status on bound reforms. Uh, last month I presented five different scenarios for a possible school boundary shifts based on some data that we received from a demographer report uh, over this last year. I've had boundary forms at uh, five elementary schools here over the last month and we have uh, parent forms scheduled in January. So I'm going to put the dates for those forms. Uh, we're having them at Meehan Elementary School, Lincoln Elementary School, Seth Whitman, and Washington Academy. Let's see, so I'm going to move on to see what types of different comments we have here. Uh, let's, let me scroll up and just read through. Are all the classes at the pathways at each high school or off-site? All of our pathway courses are planned on being offered on-site, uh, so students will be able to take them at both of uh, the high schools on-site taught by staff members here. Um, so we offer the classes at both of the high schools. Sometimes we're not able to run a class because we don't have enough student interest and students don't sign up, but the intent is to offer all those classes um, at both of the high schools. Let's see, looks like Nikki uh, answered that for me as well. Let's see. Oh, good. We got B1 Food Pantry wants to give a shout out to the teachers of Washington for their generous contribution to provide food to those in need in Boone County. Also, they're giving books to all children who come to the pantry. Their donations are helping hundreds of people in very special ways. Thank you to each of you for trusting us with your donations. We work together to bless our community. Thanks, Colleen. That's great. I appreciate the shout out to those teachers. Those are some great staff members and teachers at Washington. Looks like those are all the comments and questions that I've got tonight. So I appreciate your time and I'll uh, go ahead and close out. Uh, thanks for watching either live or after the fact. A lot of the information that we uh, shared today is also available through our various newsletters. I'd encourage you to take a few minutes out of your month um, to watch, listen, or read about what's happening in the district. This Facebook Live is just one way to stay updated. Remember, you can always leave a comment in our district suggestion box. I read those on a regular basis and try to respond when I can. Uh, and then again, uh, a quick plug. If you have a great experience you want to celebrate or just want to share how much you love your school, please consider leaving a comment in the review section on Facebook by going to the link uh, that I put in the comment section. Uh, we think it's great if we can uh, make sure that our community knows some of the great things that are happening. Here we got, I got one, it looks like I got a final question here. My question is why am I not being notified if my elementary age child is not being in school until 5 p.m.? You know, Michael, I don't know the specifics of how our... Uh, notification system works, but I will look into that and get back with you. Uh, I'll do that through a direct message. Uh, looks like we also have a question here from Michelle. Will there be a meeting for parents that want to know about uh, career planning? You know, Michelle, most of the uh, information is happening directly with the students in their homeroom classes at the high schools. Uh, and so I'd encourage you to have some conversations in January about your students. They should with your students about uh, the presentations that they're receiving and the information they're getting. Uh, specifically, I'd encourage you to go through the career guide with them and their course selection sheet. Uh, so those are some really important things to go through. The um, in, in January, when we get uh, close to that time where students are making some of those decisions, we will be sending out an email blast with digital resources so you're able to access that on your own time as opposed to having an event here where you have to plan around. And that will include a link to the career guide, uh, videos explaining the pathway sequencing and how students can pick those pathways, as well as an online version of the course catalog. So you should be able to make all those decisions and become informed about those things uh, from the comfort of your own home in your pajamas. Uh, but if you have any questions, the best people to reach out to as you're going through those materials are going to be the high school counselors in each of the high schools. Let's see, looks like we got a couple. Yeah, Mike, Michael, I'm going to read, I'm going to have to look into the specifics on our notification system. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I will reach out once we find, I find out the details so I can answer your question specifically. All right, so I think that's all I've got. Um, if you have any additional questions or comments, please feel free to post them or shoot me an email. Uh, thanks for your time and stay tuned until next month.